too far from this one. There was a happy little hamlet named Fairyland Falls. The name Fairyland Falls was very fitting because the most famous event in the history of that little village involved that very thing. But I'll let you find out the rest for yourself. So let's begin with what we cheerily call a fairly grim tale. could you ask for in a town? My, whoever's king of this town must be doing a my fighty job. Don't you think? Well, don't you think? The truth of it is, old King Cole was only mildly popular in Fairyland Falls. After all, how many happy days can you have until it gets, well, a little boring? Despite his 100% approval ratings, old King Cole wasn't the most popular in town. That title belonged to someone else. Life is an egg, right? Right! You know when you're an egg, the only thing you don't have in life is an edge. So I'm always looking for new excitement. What will you try today, Humpty? An egg roll? Nah, I don't like Chinese food. How about cliff dive? How about some ham and eggs? Don't know what the day holds, my friends. But whatever it is, I'm sure it will be excellent. Get it? Excellent. Still got it. Humpty is our hero. He is one fearless egg. When we want some drama, Humpty Dumpty comes up big. So lovely, Sophie Foley, and his Humpty Dumpty said, Hurry, hurry, before the egg is dead. Humpty Dumpty is our favorite guy. We told you through the reason, so don't ask us why. To back and call. Still the one in charge Cause Humpty is our favorite And he's living large Darn that egg I want to see that pumpkin bumpkin boast You know what to do, men Humpty, my friend Hey, Kingy, what's shaking? Oh, just surveying the old kingdom Surveying is a job I bet you'll have to do soon you're mighty popular around here. Well, I don't know. My mom always said I was a good egg. Sh I'm sure. Well, one day when you're king of the castle, you'll have to survey the old kingdom yourself. Uh, I think you should go from somewhere where you can see everything. I think this brick wall will do quite nicely. Hmm, looks a little high up. High? 
Why, I thought you were a daredevil, jumping from canyons and holding your breath underwater, stuff like that. Well, I am. Then I sure you'll, I'm sure you'll have no trouble getting up that slick, oh, I mean thick brick wall. I won't. As a matter of fact, I never do. Thanks for your inspiration, Kingy. Anytime, Dumpty. Anytime. <laughs> and so the wise old king set prideful Humpty up for a fall. But the fairyland fall's peace wasn't the only thing about to be broken. Ladies and gentlemen, I found my challenge to the wall. Our man Yankee's climbing to stay up on the wall. Well, Dumpty's just up behind enough to just look and see us all. We have to kick his belly so he doesn't come to the ground. Well, there's a crack crack here and a crack crack there. I'd say he's a goner. Excuse me, gentlemen. What is the meaning of this? Fairyland Falls. CSI, sir. Ah, uh, yes, the CSI. You're part of that little used basement agency from the apartment of Never Happens Here? That's right. This is the first time we've been called into action. I'm Jacob. Jacob Grimm. This is my brother, Wilhelm. A pleasure, sir. The Grimm Brothers. You're kidding, right? What a fitting name for the crime scene investigators. And, uh, who's the third guy? I'm Bud. Bud Grimm? No. Just Bud, then? Yes. I see. Well... Grim, bro, Grimmer, <laughs> Brothers Grimm and uh, Bud, we seem, to have a, we seem to have a tragedy here. Old Dumpty sat on the wall and had a great fall. My horses and men tried to patch up the old guy. Pity too, he was gonna take over my retire. He was gonna take over after my retirement. Now it seems I have to continue the throne a little longer. Well, this looks like an important investigation. Investigation? Why? I don't think that's necessary. It's obvious, isn't it? The egg sat on the wall and shouldn't have. There's no reason to get all cracked up about it. But, Your Majesty. No buts about it. Case closed. The egg is scrambled. The kit. Close the case. That's it. Hey, Kingy, you don't suggest that we look the other way for a murder investigation. Murder? Who said anything about murder? You never know until you investigate, right? Invest. Fine. Investigate Mr. Scramble Pants all you want. I have a crew schedule on the Royal Yacht. Call me if you need anything. Better yet, don't call me. The king doesn't seem happy to see us. We're crime investors. Is anyone happy to see us? Point taken. Psst. Psst. CSI guys. Uh, can we help you? This Humpty Edison isn't the first to hit Fairyland Falls, if you ask me. It, it isn't? Heck no. Do some digging and I think you'll find a lot of funny things around here. What do you mean? The folks of Fairland Falls used to live happily ever after around here. E-I-E-I-O and all that. But lately, it's been a little dangerous in these parts. You don't say. Well, how do you explain Big Round Wolf suddenly peeled from jail, wicked witches and stepmothers terrorizing populace, and now poor Humpty? It's a conspiracy, I tell you. Here, take these. What's this junk? Newspaper clippings, DNA, sam DNA samples, chain letters. Just some stuff I've collected over the years. I'm turning it over to you. I need to get my life back. You mean the crimes are linked? NGO. All I know is one day everything is peaches and cream, and the next day, and the next day, the dish is running off with a spoon's wife. How far up do you think this goes? Shh, I've said too much.
The truth is out here. It is. Where do we find it? Just follow the money. Follow the money. Mystery. Mystery. I think Old MacDonald belongs on the funny farm, if you ask me. But how do we know? This is the first time we've been called out on a case. And Old King Cole didn't seem happy about that. Come to think of it, perhaps this old buzzer's onto something. Everyone take a file. Monitor the police wire and um, stay in touch. And so the brothers and Bud set out on their grim task to solve the murder of Humpty Dumpty and bring peace to Fairyland Falls. Will they avenge poor Humpty who's down in the Dumpty? Or will old King Cole remain a rotten old soul? Stay tuned until we can tell you more of A Fairly Grim Tale. <laughs> Are you tired of the same boring cereal? Spiced up with chunky charms. Made from 56% natural ingredients, you will enjoy whatever you can find inside. Here's how it was made. <laughs> Meet Chunky Chase. Poor Chunky the Leprechaun lived a poor, life, tired life under a bridge. One day, when three fairyland folk were strolling by, inspiration stuck truck. What a great lunch we just had. It was amazing, but what do we do with it, all this trash? Yeah, where do we put this trash anyway? I wish there was a way to make my life better. It was just then when Chucky had his Eureka moment. Cereal! Chucky got to work recycling the old trash that flew under his bridge and refurbishing it into a new cereal that he proudly named Chunky Charms. Finally, after many tireless days, Chucky had created a finished product and was ready to put his entrepreneurship skills to the test. some Chunky Charms, try it! What is this, a cereal stand? Hi, I'm Chunky, and try my new cereal, Chunky Charms. What's it made out of? Hey, this is the trash we threw off the bridge. It's not trash, it's cereal trash. Okay. Okay. What okay. will these Fairyland citizens think of Chunky's new cereal brand? Let's find out for ourselves with a quick interview. Chunky Charms is so mediocre, it'll make you explode with contentment. It's so good, you can eat it twice. It's disgusting, and I love it. I want more of this. Is there more of this? Buy Chunky Charms at a store near you. Nutrition facts not included. Side effects may include coughing, wheezing, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, food poisoning, dizziness, drowsiness, confusion, fevers, and long-term health impacts. Do not eat Chunky Charms if you are susceptible to having any of the side effects previously listed. If ingested, you may consider contacting poison control. Chunky Charms is not approved by the FDA. Try them. You won't not regret it. Get Chunky Charms today! Don't eat them! Happy Hamlet of Fairyland Falls. Now, our attention shifts to another not so happy little village, but don't let the residents hear you call it a hamlet the village of Pig Hollow. Here, the three little pigs make their home, or homes as the case may be. They might have shared a home once, but when it came to construction, they couldn't agree. This is a big mistake with the Fairyland Falls crime rate on the line, especially with one big, particular band roll about. Now, we shall begin our story, but first, we need you to help tell it with this little melodrama. When the hero emerges or a happy event occurs, respond with applause and cheers. And when a villain shows up or a pig house blows up, respond with dues and cheers. Don't worry, our pianist will help you figure it out. Excellent! Now we begin our story with our heroes, the three little pigs. Farmer pig, carpenter pig, and mason pig. of all the excitement today in town. I went wee 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 all the way home. Looks like the big egg finally cracked up. He went over easy. Found him sunny side up, I hear. That just goes to show you can't be too careful around this village anymore. You know, with all the crime waves we've been having. I went into town for roast beef, but I guess next time I'll have to stay home and have done. Sure and glad I got my big ass to try to keep me safe. 
I still don't know how you can stand to live in that house with your allergies the way they are. That's why I've got my house of sticks. You silly oinkers. I told you those goofy houses aren't safe. What are you gonna do if they don't last? Aw, uh, don't worry. I'm in good hand. I got insurance. Yeah, and if that don't work, Okay, cool, help. Okay, cool. What's your government gonna do about us pigs? Easy for you to say, brick boy. Yeah, we can't afford a house of bricks. Not everyone has a sweet job on the side. Hey, I can't help with me and Porky Pig share a striking resemblance. It's only a few look-alike appearances a year. Okay, okay. Just promise me, if you get yourselves into trouble, just come into my house. We promise. Great. See you, pigs. I don't like the way it looks down on our houses. At least our house has got some soul. Yeah, who does that ham hock think he is anyway? Well, enjoy life in the sticks. Yeah, have fun rolling in the hay. Ah, oh, now, is that any way to treat an actor on his first entrance? I'm just a wolf looking to earn a living. Please, be respectful. Now, where was I? Ah, yes, Pig Hollow. The perfect place for a wolf on the go to get some breakfast. And I smell... Pork. Oh, how lovely. How I do like a slab of ham in the morning. Knock, knock. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What's up, wolf? Hello, pig. I am a hungry wolf wallowing through your hollow. And I was just wondering if perhaps I could have you for breakfast. Have me for breakfast? Why, sure, I'd love to join you. Where's your house? What? Oh, that's funny. You thought I was extending an invitation for breakfast. Oh, that's rich. No, you see, I was hoping that I could eat you for breakfast. Yeah, that's it. I'd like to eat you. Oh, come on. This is all part of my character, you see. Look, I'll just take your repulsion as approval of my performance. Now enough, please. So, Pig, what do you say? May I come in? Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. What? How rude. How would you like to be someone else's breakfast, huh? Is that all I am to you? A meal ticket? Well, yeah. Well, forget it. You can't come in. Oh, I see. Well, this is awkward. I'm kind of at a loss here. Excuse me a moment while I just consult my script. Ah, it says here I press the issue. My, that's a little forward. Well, gotta respect the author. Won't let me in, you say? Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. Well, good thing I got this on the straw. I'll just hide inside. Hmm, I see. Well, gotta be consistent with this character. Here goes nothing, pig. here failed to heed my foreshadowing. I told him that I would have to blow his house down if he didn't comply to my request for service. And, well, there you go. Honestly, it's getting old. Don't you have cell phones to talk into or candy wrapples to crinkle? Sorry. I told you not to build a house out of straw, but the Fairland Corps of Engineers said all on fine. So, pigs. What do you say? Shall we or shall I? <laughs> come on, come on, let the big bad wolf in. Not, Not by, by the hairs of our chinny chin chins! Pigs, such silly, cowardly animals. Well, I guess I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow in this dump too. Oh, 
That was cute. Kind of driving anything. Like that. You've blown over both of their houses? Well, who lives in a straw house? Or sticks? That's not legitimate building material. Get them to code. Now, I'm getting hungry around here. We're gonna have sausage for breakfast or not. You are an animal. Yeah, so's your mama. Now let me in, dog on it. Not, not by, by the, the hairs, hairs of our chinny chin chins. Okay, that's it. I guess I'll just huff and puff and blow your house in. say thank you thank you oh come on it's getting old hey the feds i'm out of here we're still here and the wolves of the feds are coming imagine that greetings pigs whoa what a mess are you from fema no i'm bud grim of fairyland falls csi we're investigating a crime wave that may be linked to the untimely death of Humpty Dumpty. I was reviewing the police wire and got a call of possible crime of puffing and puffing here in Peg Hollow. I thought I would check it out. Well, I think you're decoming because he went that way. Thanks, and oh, good luck with the mess. Well, how do you like that? We gotta rebuild Pig Hollow, and the one government guy that shows up is busy conducting investigations? Yeah, he might as well just fly right over us. Don't worry, pigs. We'll rebuild it better than ever. as you shall see. By the way, until the evil Wolfie is captured, the rules of audience rules and melodrama are still in effect. Except this time there will be new characters to cheer for. We begin with our hearty lumberjack. Granny, oh Granny, are you in there? Yes, who's there? Granny, it's me. How are you doing? What am I doing? Well, I thought I heard some in the yard. Did you hear it? Granny, that was me. I just came by to check how you're doing. Oh, how nice of you. I'm doing fine, but I'll do better once you finish hooking up my cable. The cable? Yes, I want my MTV. I'm missing the whole new season of Spring Break. I heard they're going to be in Demon this year. Isn't that exciting? Granny, I'm not the cable guy. You're not? Why not? I called in last month, and I'm still waiting. Granny, I came to check on you. I'm the lumberjack. Oh, good to see you, Jack. You know, I once knew a boy named Jack. Nice kid. Then he grew that beanstalk, chopped it down, and ruined the whole countryside. Such a mess. Well, that's a great story. I can, t I can see you're doing well. 
as well as usual. And I gotta get back to cutting down some trees, pulling up some condos, you know? Oh, I know, I know. I have a lovely condo in Florida. Love to go there more often, but gotta stay here close to the Grand Kid. So run along. I have to go get the cookies started. Eesh, sure glad there uh, isn't anyone in the forest around here. She won't last two seconds in town. Shh, will you cut me some slack? I'm on the run, you know. Where, where can I hide? Oh, wait, like you're gonna help me. You're all against me. Oh, a house. Lady, do you have a place I can hide? I'm on the lamb. A lamb? Where? Oh, little boy people be very upset. I told her she needs to keep a better eye on those miserable creatures. No! Filthy things. Lady, I'm on the lamb. I'm being chased by the fuzz. Uh, yeah, lambs do indeed have fuzz. It's the only reason to keep them, you know? She for real? Look, lady, if you don't help me hide, I might have to get in character and eat you up or something. Now what's it gonna be? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all out of porridge. Granny! Granny, are you home? Oh, yay! The grandchild! Eek! Witnesses! Quickly! Grandson! No! <sighs> Granny! Granny, are you home? Maybe I'll be spared another look at her tea cozies. Granny! Granny! Anybody home? You. Oh, I mean, hello, little um, girl. <laughs> Granny seems a bit odd today. Come over here. Did you bring me anything? <laughs> I missed breakfast. Uh, I brought your prescriptions. Prescriptions? Oh, wow! That's awesome! Thanks! Kid? Kid? Granny, it's me, Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood? Your parents named you after a coat? You humans come up with such stupid names. Tell me it's at least spelled right. Humans? Oh, I mean... It sure is a uh, humid here, my dear. Oh, I hope you brought me something cold to drink. Well, not really, but I do have some granola I took for the journey. Granola? Bring it here. I'm famished. Lots of running today. at these goodies and see your hoodie, my dear. <laughs> but, but Granny, what big paws you have. Wow. <laughs> Arthritis medicine sometimes results in abnormal hair growth, you know. <laughs> but Granny, what big teeth you have. Actually, they're, they're more like fangs. Those aren't fangs. Those are d d d dentures. <laughs> Granny, you don't wear dentures. Whoa, kid. I don't have much time to slap on this costume. Now, what do you want from me? Oh, no. Feds? Feds? You're not Granny. You're a big, bad wolf. Help! Help! Come on, you red little. There he is. I think. Yeah, I recognize him. That's the worst disguise ever. Pause up, Wolf. You're under arrest for vandalism of Pig Hollow. Vandalism? Why, you're nothing but a wolf in granny clothing. Well, you'll never take me alive, CSI guy. I've spent time in the kennel and I always swore and I'm never going back. I guess you're just gonna have to do it the hard way. Bring it on, Woody. Do -do -do.
Bring it on, toots. I'm a lumberjack, and I'm okay. The Walt Disney has gone from movie magic to motivating movement, and we Disney princesses are here to introduce a new VHS copy of Disney's Magical Movement. That's right, we've taken the time to become certified instructors while we are locked away in our towers, because we have literally nothing else to do. And we're giving you a special sneak peek to this 30 minute high intensity workout. Let's take a look. Welcome to Magical Movement, where you can train to become active, strong, royal princes and princesses. You know we've been sitting around like a bunch of lazy bums watching a fairly good tale. So parents, kids, and everyone at home, get up and get ready to move. Are we ready? Take it away, Snow White. All right, we're going to start off with simple stretch. Reach out and pick the apples off the tree. But don't eat them, though. You never know what poisonous pest pesticides are on these days. Take it away, Cinderella. Thanks, Snowy. We're going to keep stretching by putting on our glass slippers. And make sure they don't fall off, fall off, or else the whole kingdom will be hunting you down. So make sure they're snug. Your turn, Ariel. We're going under the sea with these swimming strokes. And while you're at it, you can brush your head with a dingle hopper. And you can even call for your dolphin friends. <laughs> 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 I just have the bookshelf to hear my favorite book. So let's open up the pages and read together. And skip the fattening gray stuff. And be our guest to this workout. What do you got for us, Rapunzel? Thanks, Belle. We're combining exercise and self-defense with this move. Take your frying pan and smack your enemy. You may be asking yourself, when will my life begin? Well, I can tell you, your life will begin once you try adding some activity to your little schedule. Also, your life will begin once your fake evil mom turns slaps you in a tower for 18 years, turns to dust from going from 40 to 80 in two seconds, and stabs your criminal boyfriend. Finish this off, Moana. Thanks, Rapunzel. Now we're going back into the water and rowing our way into the ocean. And now, some heart of the Phoebe High Knees. What can I say? Except you're welcome for this great workout. <sighs> there you have it. Take a rest and drink some water. 
water. Oh. And be sure to buy Disney's Magical Movement. And parents, if your kids don't know what a VHS is, just tell us the Netflix of 1993. I didn't mean to raise my voice, but as you can see, there's a very serious argument going on. Please, Francis, let me try again. I swear I can get it on. Shut up, you big elf! Everybody knows that your fat foot won't fit, so please let me try it. Ladies, please, as you can see, this is a missing person case from the Fairyland Falls Files. It appears that the prince, that's the handsome one right over there, has recently held a ball in which he met a lovely young maiden. And about time. I've been trying to marry off this free woman for ages. Please, Your Majesty, I'm trying to set the scene. You must excuse me, sir, for His Majesty is very frustrated. Prince has been a royal pain to catch me drift. Unfortunately, the wicked stepmother is trying to con the poor prince by forcing her nasty daughters upon him. Her fraud in the missing person case will surely make the police flutters and gain the attention of Jacob Grimm. He and the CSI team are still working on trying to lower the Fairyland Falls crime. We join our scene already in progress. Madam, I've told you, neither of your daughters is the woman I see. Nonsense. Perhaps you were just confused. It was dark. Maybe the slipper will fit. Don't leave until you have tried both of my daughters again. Yes, please! Oh. Sir, please just put the slipper on these girls and appease the woman. Are you kidding me? Neither of those loons is the lady I danced with. I know. There's clearly no life material here. There's two nasty girls, an old crone, and a lonely housekeeper. Wait. We ought to settle sometime, shove a slipper and one of them and find a wife over there. Did you say something about a housekeeper? I don't remember seeing a housekeeper. Well, we have to look quick. She's been pretty busy while we've been here. Stepmother, I'm done for listening to Timmy. Can I meet the prince now? Not until you have waxed the stable floor. Now shoot, shoot! Wait, is this the housekeeper? Who? Her? Well, uh, yes. But she, um, doesn't speak any English. Yeah, she's new to the country. Still learning the language. Hello, pleased to meet you. Hey, don't speak to the prince. You'll embarrass yourself to hear a uh, lousy English. Now back to the dungeon with you. Listen, lady. I'm happy with my son settling with any of these awful, I mean, awesome ladies. But once he sets his mind to something, He's very determined. Perhaps you should allow the housekeeper to try the supper with him. Oh yes, oh please, I'll do anything. Then why don't you do the floors again? Nonsense. No housekeeper will try the supper before my lovely Anastasia and Divine Drusilla. My daughters come first. Yes, starting with me, Divine Drusilla. No, me first. You're not Prince Material. Oh, for the love of. Will you two be quiet? You make it impossible to marry you two off. Trust me, lady, it makes no difference. You can pay me enough to marry either of these. <laughs> oh, but sir, please, just one more try, I guarantee. This time we will have a success. Come on, son. What do you have to lose? You know, except the best years of your life. And my bachelorhood. Oh, sweet freedom. Your Highness, the single life is great, I know. But the royal will clearly states you may not inherit the kingdom with our queen. Yeah, that's right. It's the footman. Fine, stupid royal wills. Okay, lady, it appears to get the royal goods. I need a queen, so I'm going to try the slipper on your daughters one more time. Yay! Mommy! Jules! Browns! But if the slipper doesn't fit those two, I get to try the housekeeper. Hey, forget old Cinderella. We want to be maidens. Yeah, we're prepared. We can order our housekeepers real well. Ain't that the truth? Don't worry, girls. It won't come to that anyway. Surely one of these daughters will fit the slipper. Come with me, ladies. Why? Yeah, where are we going? You see, his foot is going to, well, make the cut. Make the cut? That sounds ominous. Oh. 
I don't know, son. I'm all for you jumping his marriage feet first. But this is no way to find a wife. I agree. Why can't you meet me on the internet like everyone else? Don't worry, gentlemen. I don't intend to put the slipper on either of those ladies. Housekeeper! The name's Cinderella Prince, and let's get one thing straight. I don't intend to remain a housekeeper once we move into the palace too big. Oh. But... And another thing, no more of this hanging out all night with the friends of the royal court and all. Time for you to live respectable. But... I expect lots of help in the kitchen. No more cooking, no more cleaning. Not for this girl, no sir. Ah, oh, jeez, it's already happening. All right, I can't go through with this. <clears throat> the royal will, son? No queen, no royal, whatever. I found my true love. That's a ticket, Princey. Let's get this party started. Excuse me, I'm looking for a missing persons case. Just found me a case closed. Goodbye! Splendid! One last thing. Hey! Wait! What about my daughters? Yeah! This engagement just cost me my pinky! Your pinky? Quit your beefing. Mom knocked off my whole big toe. Well, you always had giant feet. Giant feet? Why I oughta? Well, wicked stepmother, sorry you lost out on my son, the prince, but I have the perfect guy for your daughters. Who is it? The footman! <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been trying to cook, clean, and get ready at the same time? Do your bank goods often come out and burn to not able to meet? <laughs>
Honey, I'm home. What's freeze? I'm not in the kitchen, dear. I went to the town square with you. Oh, I know. I just like to say that. Yes, it is very endearing. Hey, that's one of the perks of being the big bear of the house. Yes, it is one of many perks, dear. Come on now, Mama. I don't ask for much. Just three things. A hot dinner when I come home, Mama Bear to greet me at the door with a cup of coffee and a clean house. A house so clean you can... What the heck? My pool, my chair, my house! Junior! Oh goodness gracious, this house is in disorder! Disorder? You call this record disorder? This isn't a bear household. Bear houses are supposed to be neat, tidy. This isn't tidy. This is a garbage pile. This is like a bear household that exploded! Hello, may I take your coats? Oh, that's right. They're all weather. I keep forgetting. That Goldilocks is the worst housekeeper we've ever hired. Walks around us doesn't even notice the disaster zone. Oh, Papa. I mean it. I don't trust those humans. I think she steals stuff. Well, she sure doesn't clean up after Junior. Where is that kid anyway? Junior! Yo, what you doing to my tunes, Pops? Tunes? Pops? I'll tune you up some Pops, Junior. Easy, Papa. Whoa, dude, he's in the claws. Baby Bear, what Papa Bear is trying to tell you is that he's a little concerned about the state of the household. Household? It's a pigsty! It's like a place where pigs live! Well, I mean, why well, just clean up the kitchen if you... Whoa. Yeah, whoa! We go to town square, we come back, and we found out that you trashed the place! Me? Trashed the place? What? Is there an Emma in here? Yeah, you trashed the place, and I'm gonna take it out of your hide! Whoa, no, wait a minute, Pops. It wasn't me. Yeah? Then who was it? Um, a burglar. A burglar? Oh! We're in the middle of Fairyland Forest. There's only bears for miles. No bear would rob another bear's house. Who would do such a thing? Pardon me. I was just double-checking the grocery list. I see you want honeycomb, honey wax, honey... <gasps> oh my! What a mess! Why, I didn't even notice it when I last came in. Funny. How could I have missed that? Uh, Dad? Burglar! Oh goodness gracious, not the help. I feel so violated. What are you talking about? Hey, wait a minute. I'm just a housekeeper. I realize I don't speak the language around here and all, but... Zip it, lady. I'm calling the cops. Don't you move, Blondie. Hello? Operator? I'd like to report, report a crime. Get the, I don't know, crime guys over here. Pronto. Carolyn Falls, CSI, ma'am. Whoa, that was fast, dude. Better be, our taxes pay their salary. So we hear. Listen, we're kind of busy investigating the Humpty tragedy, so if you don't mind. Oh, I get it. See, Mama? They keep investigating. Crimes get the rich folks. But when there's some bears on the other side of the forest, you get the runaround. So what seems to be the problem, sir? Well, look, a mess. Personally, I think it's the housekeeper. Her favorite she got when I hired her, but... Now wait just a minute. I may not be in the forest, but I was just as hard as every other bear. Even harder! Nice try, thief. Maybe we should have put a Goldilocks on our front door. Hey, eh, Pop? Haha! <laughs> Good one, Junior. I'm just an honest girl trying to make a better life for herself. You know, maybe buy my own place one day. But as soon as anything goes wrong, who gets the blame? The human, just because I look a little different. You do have a serious lack of fur. You should be ashamed of yourself. Why blame me and not your own son? He's nothing but trouble. Me? When? Mama? Oh, my baby! You horrible girl! My husband was right! I was... Wait! Let me enjoy this moment. You humans are nothing but trouble. Taking good jobs that bears can do. Gentlemen, arrest her! On what charge? Dedicated housekeeping? Look, folks, we really don't have time for this. If you want us to get involved, you're going to have to make a better case. Who are we supposed to believe?
I could be as cool as Puss in Boots, but that's impossible. Never fear, man. What if I told you I had a line of my famous Puss in Boots boots for sale? Golly, I'd buy them right now. Then this is your lucky day. Wow, thanks Puss in Boots. These are great. Oh no, I need shoes and have none. Woe is me. Puss in Boots to the rescue potential customer. With Puss in Boots boots, you'll have shoes and look great. Gee whiz, for real? Yes. Here. <laughs> Hooray for shoes! I'm old and I wish I could move like I used to. <laughs> oh, I can real sleek out with my line of famous boots. Wow, I feel so young and agile. <laughs> saying I can't convince to wear my line of boots? Nope, I'm a skeptic. I want to see you in a pair of Puss and Beats boots. Wow, my entire perspective has changed. I think I'd like to buy some of those boots. You heard the experts. There isn't a person of the earth who doesn't need these boots. Bye! Bye. are bad people, and sadly, not all people are charged with crimes. One such group of bad people that should be criminals, but aren't, can be found daily in the Fairland Falls Forest outside the home of Hansel and Gretel. Well, it used to be the home of Hansel and Gretel, but I'll let you find out the rest for yourself. So when will these hot shots show up? My publisher wants these celebrity pics by now. I got trolls under the bridge, just as I town Kaylin Carmichael. These two should drive with me to any minute. I used to live here, you know. What? Yeah. In the Candyland mansion? Yeah, it was my place before those reality stars, Hansel and Gretel, took ownership. You don't think they could decorate my type of style, do you? Oh no, I only thought, are you kidding me? I only thought one of us places could do that. Hansel guy doesn't even work for the company for a true model. I know, I just lives off his celebrity. And his new girlfriend, little Miss Muffet. Well, we all know she's just a hanger on. Hansel guy really cheated down when he dumped Gretel. Whoever built this house, I taste. Thank you. The gumdrop shingles do taste especially good. You know, they showed up here one day. No, lost them in the forest. I did what any wish would do. If you boil them in oil, they'd stew out of their bones? No, I shoved them into the oven. Ah. The old standby. And after all that, those little buggers managed to crawl back out of the oven and have their own reality show. Here I am, homeless, living out of my broom, and taking celebrity photographs for a living. And I have to take pictures going into my own house. Ironic, isn't it? The jobs we just gotta do to feed herself these days. It's hardly worth the boil in the bubble, boil in the trouble. And and then, after all that, Hansel kicks out Gretel and starts hanging out with that Muffet girl. Speak of the devil, here they come now. Oh gee, look at that! What's it's the matter, Hansel? It's the Witcherasi! They're surrounding the house like a cloud of midges. I hate having to run the gauntlet to get into my own house. Who cares? It drives internet traffic on our website and is good for careers. Careers? What careers? You're a socialite who sits in a tuffet. Hey, I got my own line Muffet Tuffet cut out. And a few sled photos and the Fairyland Lip Flapper really helped grow our business. Now quit your beefing and get over there. Oh, and look happy for a change. You're always such a gripper on taps. This celebrity marriage thing is in the Inspiring. The Queen of Hearts was a lovely host. We might say off of your head. It was hilarious. Hey Hansel, how's your new girls? Tough it! Tablet! It's you! The Forest Witch! This lady has had it in for me ever since I wanted to her house, and she tried to broil me like a roast! That's it! Press conference over! Well, well, 
Look what Boone to the rest of trash, Hansel. Why the Zig Brettler new boyfriend, Jack Horner. Now I know these buzzards are here, cause they sense Rogue. <gasps> Hello, Muffet. Grano, what are you doing here? Well, the whole town knows that you two are coming back from your honeymoon. Yeah, so Jack and I thought we'd stop by and welcome you back. Gretel, why don't you just admit it? You're jealous that Hansel and I knew power couple in town and came in a freeload off of our good press. <gasps> watch how you talk to my Gretel, Muffet. And you watch how you talk to my Muffet, Horner. <gasps> Relax, Hansel. I take good care of Gretel for you. She's never been happier. Oh! Are you going to be in a fight? stick your thumb in it. <gasps> watch it, Hansel. Perhaps you'd like to be back in the office. <gasps> Face it, Gretel. You always be page two material. Oh! Boone and I are getting married. <gasps> what? But I just met you last week. Ow! I mean, yes. She's the love of my life. Aww. Aww. Jack and Gretel, let's bring them. Jackal. Well, oh yeah? Well, well, Miss Buffett and I are getting married. Again! It was so great the first time. Let's try it again. <gasps> oh, darling. You see that, Gretel? My husband is a genius. Ooh. I pulled a thumb out of the blueberry pie once. <gasps> thumb in a pie? Did you eat it? Was it gross? Tell us about it, Horner. No, it wasn't just some random thumb. It was my thumb. Uh -huh. But I beat it on accident. Good idea, Jeff. You could try to ride with Hollywood with that thumb. I got a new line of toughest. The prototype's in the living room right now. It also has a cup holder for your porch. Want to see it? I'm starting a new line of handbags. I'm calling it the Bags of Gretel. You know, just to be different. This is the best day ever! I'm going on a hunger strike to protest wars. Monkey <gasps> Duck the Ghost told me the real color. <gasps> I'm the monkey's uncle! I'm getting kidnapped by space aliens! I'm giving my wife a million dollar diamond nose clip! <gasps> I'm giving my, um, wife a trillion dollar diamond nose clip. <gasps> yeah, but I love my wife more! Ooh. No, I love my wife more! Ooh. Yeah, why aren't you taking pictures of us? I just had a revelation. My life is so stupid. I know, I thought I felt dirty before, but now I just want to be clean. Uh, uh, I'm here investigating a case of celebrity stalking. Don't worry about it, we're just leaving now. Oh, <laughs> uh, actually, my name's Wilhelm. Uh, well, I guess that's another crime story result. Later, folks. Well, well, what are we supposed to do now? Why don't you just sit on your tuffet? Well, that is that. Flames is a fleeting. Let's go, Horn. Hey, coast is clear. Nobody home. You mean that annoying dude who introduces the scenes isn't here? Oh, good. Come on, everybody. The narrator's on break. Thank goodness. You guys do realize I haven't been called out on stage since scene one. None of us have, Plumber. It's all about princes and maidens here in Fairyland. And no one gives a hoot about a chef, a plumber, or some fiddlers three. Hey, don't be too grown. I had actual lines. What do I have to show for? A nasty wife who's missing his toe? Face it, fellas. The working man never gets his due. <laughs>
version of our tale. The Grimm brothers were hot on the trail of old King Cole. Little did they know, the trail leads to the Fairyland Falls cruise ship, where Mother Goose was entering the citizens of Fairyland Falls. Commence the festival! Hi, thank you, thank you, my darlings. Welcome. How are you doing, my lovelies? I know it's been a tough week here in Fairyland Falls with Humpty Dumpty falling off the wall and all that, and the Big Bad Wolf, but that's why I invited you all here today. So let's just have a good time. What do you say? Oh, you flatter me, but we already have a leader here in Fairyland Falls. Let's welcome him, shall we? I present Old King Cole. Thanks for inviting me, Mother Goose. I'm not all that popular, I'm sure you know. Yes, I know, but we are to follow proper etiquette, so just sit down and be quiet. Yes, Mother Goose. <laughs> <laughs> now, as you all know, Fairyland Falls would not be complete without a little entertainment. So, for tonight, this is a very spectacular episode of Dancing with the Nursery Rhyme Stars. And as you all know, no episode of Dancing with the Nursery Rhyme Stars would be complete without our judges. So I present to you the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker. What's up, cupcakes? Are you ready to get this dance party freak on? Woo -hoo! Thank you, baker. We're so glad to have you here. You too, candlestick maker. Happy to be here, Mother Goose. I just love this whole thing you got going on. If my love were a big floating pool of joy, you'd be on it. My love would be joy in a flying because you're a star, Mother Goose. A star. I pull my love and joy right back at you, Candlestick Maker. You're so much more positive than the butcher over here. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Got bored. Where are the no-talent dance teams? I'll have my cleaver ready! Well, Fairyland Falls, it looks like we're set up for another exciting dance-off. Let's meet our first contestant, shall we? The dynamic Fairyland duo, known for their star-making appearance on the Not-So-Amazing Race. One is a stand-up comic known for his record-breaking performance on the Galapagos Islands. The other has done some stunt work as a stand-in for Bugs Bunny and Bri Br'er Rabbit. Let's give a big hand for the tortoise in the hare. Thank you, ladies and germs. I just flew in here, and boy, are my arms tired. Oh, waka, waka, waka. Oh, here we go with the comedy act. Oh, I got a million of them. Say, have you seen all this braille on the ATMs? They put it up for the three blind mice. Have you heard about this? Have you heard about this? Well, if they're driving, I mean, if they're blind, how are they driving? How are they going to, oh, I'm killing it out here. Catch me at Vegas, everybody. Catch me at Vegas. Mother Goose, I'm sorry for my partner. He apparently thinks he's quite the talent. Cool, cupcakes. I really like your stage batter. Oops, did I say stage batter? I meant stage banter. Now, where's my mixing spoon? You two make a lovely pair. So what will we be performing for us today? It's a little competition tile. Meet in from the starting line and meet in from the finish line. Sounds like garbage. I'll have my cleaver ready. Doesn't matter to me. I'm just here for the paycheck. Wonderful. I'm sure we'll be very entertaining. Give it up for the tortoise and the hare's Dance of Friendship. Well, cupcakes, I really like that little zigzaggy zaggy thing that you were doing. Ah, oh, I like that funk. Kind of like putting a little raisin in my cupcake. Out of 10 cookies, I give you about an A. Well, let me just say that I can sense an aura of personalities hovering. Not really flying, but hovering. So, as an en aura enjoyer myself, I was kind of with it. But your soul is becoming intertwined with your spirit. So, you could just see the inner glow. So, nine auras. I don't really know what he's talking about. Can I say? It was garbage! Sheesh, I haven't seen a crowd of this bloodthirsty since I played in the Bronx. Catch me there June 20th. Oh, your sister's still so Thank you, Tortoise and Hare. Now it's, now it's time for our second team. She's a beauty from the Magic Kingdom, and he is, well, he is just homely, and I really mean that. Go to Fairyland Falls, welcome to the Beauty and the Beast. Good evening, everybody. We are both so happy to be here, aren't we, darling? What? Oh, yes, we're both so happy to be here. Excuse him. 
been working on his manners. So what will you be performing for us? I call it the Ode to Love. Sounds more like an odor of trash. Hold your tongue out before I stop you to smithereens. That's not the best way to talk to the judges, theory. All right, audience, let's go. Let's give it up for Beauty and the Beast's Ode to Love. Beast, you're on your own. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost afraid to, but let's go to the judges. Cupcake, you are delish, but your partner is like a broken dish. Uh, out of 10 cookies, I give you a 2. I can feel your aura of togetherness, uh, but you're a star. Well, peace! Well, human. You remind me of a prime rib with ketchup on it. Get ready to die, human! Been follow we've been solving this fairy landfall crime wave all day and it has old King Cole's name all over it. Ha! Prove it! You signed the marriage license for Hansel and Mustafa to scandalize the village. You got... You gave Goldilocks immigration papers and gave her a job with three bears. You're related to the wicked stepmother through marriage! Lie! All lies! We did not want to believe it either, but we met someone on the road who explained it all. Eggs always come by the dozen, Kingy! Humpty, no! But I killed you! I saw you cracked up! I greased that wall, you had a great fall, and I bribed my men to make sure you were never put back together again! So it's true. King, I hereby impeach you on charges of awfulness, and you will be in prison for your crimes, and seeing as Humpty Dumpty is not here to claim his rightful throne, I shall rule in his place. But Humpty's here! I'm looking right at him! That's not Humpty Dumpty, you ninny. That's Humpty Jr. What? All hail Mother Goose! of need I should have known that crime doesn't pay fairy tales are happy and won't end that way Jacob and William made my crime a dud don't forget me my name is Bud well we're off to the prison Thanks, folks of Fairyland Falls. When you smell a crook, look in the book. We're the guys you should call. Fare thee well, Fairyland Falls.
Mr. Humpty Dumpty? <laughs> you forged Goldilocks paper. Ooh. You don't think old King Cole had anything to do with Mr. Okay. Dumpty, okay? Mm -hmm. So, gentlemen, surely, go ahead. Gentlemen, surely that you you don't think that old King Cole had to do with Mr. Dumpty? <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, surely you don't think old King Cole had anything to do with Mr. Dumpty? Ready? Mm -hmm. Go, real loud. <laughs> Gentlemen, surely you don't think that old King Cole had to do with Mr. Dumpty? <laughs> we need to put this in the papers. <laughs> I know. You forged Goldilocks of immigration papers, and you got her a job in the bear house. You forced Goldilocks' pa immigration papers to the bears. I almost had it. Gentlemen, surely you don't think old King Cole had anything to do with Mr. Dumpty? I had anything between you and the one before. Ready? Go. Gentlemen, surely you... <laughs> I got my line there. I think I, is it like get ready to die even? <laughs> Gentlemen, surely you don't think old King Cole had anything to do with Mr. Dumpty. Go. Gentlemen, surely you don't think anything had to do with Mr. Dumpty? <laughs> you forged Goldilocks' immigration papers and you got her a job in the bear house. You forged Goldilocks' immigration papers Turn up your phone! Did I do this long? Gentlemen, surely you don't think old King Cole had anything to do with Mr. Dumpty? Like it's not old King Cole's fault. Okay. Right? Alright, go ahead. Gentlemen, surely old King Cole 
how to do anything with Mr. Dumpty. <laughs> Good evening, anyway. And you got her a job. Can Two I just things, wipe Brett. this on my arm? Gentlemen, Since it's like surely time. you don't think that old King Cole had anything to do with Mr. Dumpty. Okay, ready? And go. Gentlemen, surely you don't think anything had to do with old King Cole and Humpty. <laughs> Can I just do this one? Now make me believe it, Ryan. Wait for this plane to go by. Pretty obnoxious. Stand right over here. Gentlemen, surely you don't think. Gentlemen, surely you don't think anything had to do with Humpty. I'm, uh, why am I messing up this line now? Gentlemen, I just learned this line today. Gentlemen, Gentlemen, surely you don't think Old King Cole had anything to do with Mr. Dumpty. Gentlemen, surely you don't think Old King Cole had anything to do with Mr. Humpty. Yes! Yay! <laughs> Thank you, tortoise and hare. Now let's give a fit. Hang on a minute. Sorry. Not one thing is enough. Why do I do this?